for me, my outlook on it is you're going to have guys that, that feel differently about this virus. You know, some that are, are very worried, some that aren't, and you have to be respectful to everyone's views and take it upon yourself to, to take all the precautions and, and be a good teammate and um, do the best of your ability. One of the reasons I did it was because I, I really loved enjoying playing here. And the other was you never know what's going to happen um, in the future. And it's something that I felt was good for myself and my family. And, um, you know, saw it as in my eyes, which was, was, was fair and something I was happy with and did it. And like you said, you never know what's going to happen in the future. I, I, I'd be lying if I told you I know a pandemic was going to hit, but um, that's kind of just how it played out. And the fortunate thing about that is, is you know, after it happened, you just focus on, on playing baseball and, and trying to win and, and bring as much success to the, the Brewers organization as possible. And fortunately, I haven't had to worry about the, the contract aspect of, of my life during this whole thing. You're going to see really good players that have really bad years. It, it's, it's going to happen you don't have that large sample size for everything to even out. So if you get off to a, a tough start or a bad start, it, you're really um, behind the eight ball, not only as a player, but if your team gets off to a bad start, you take a, a one in 10 start or a two in 10 or something like that. You're in a tough position just because you don't have that extended period of time to make that up. Players, teams, everybody is kind of in a, a unique situation and it's going to lend itself to an exciting season and, and something that I think um, players, fans, everybody in the game hasn't really seen.